Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be doing my May favorites and I don't have a whole lot of products to show this month just because I haven't been wearing a whole lot of makeup or trying a whole lot of new things but I do have um, a few things to show you guys so I will get into it. So the first one is a repeat from last month but I was um, I just kind of like snuck it in right at the end of the month um, in my April favorites but this one definitely deserves to be in my May favorites as well. The e.l.f. Acne Fighting Foundation. It's one that looks like this. I have been loving this. Um, I'm really, really impressed with this one. I think that, um, I think it's either $6. I think it might be $6, um, but I got it on sale for $3. So always, whenever they're having a sale and if I'm placing an order, I'm going to be buying more of this. Um, I really like it so far. Um, I've been using it, you know, like a month now and I'm really loving it. It's the only foundation I've been wearing and it's the one I'm wearing today. Um, my skin's been breaking out really bad and this one is the, the acne fighting one so I'm hoping maybe it will help with the acne but I don't really wear it so much for the acne fighting properties. I just really love the look it gives my skin. It's um, a very buildable, very um, uh, I would say medium to full coverage foundation and I really really like it it just it works well with my dry skin because that's the hardest thing for me is finding stuff that I can wear that doesn't um, feel dry on my skin or anything like that so this one I really love the color's been great for me I'm in the color ivory which I believe is the lightest one um, but I've been really loving this. I like the packaging of it. It's very convenient to squeeze it out. Um, it has the little precise tip on the top so you don't have to dump it out and waste more product than you actually need. So I've been loving this. I know it's a repeat, but um, it deserves it. The next two products are also e.l.f. products, and they are the e.l.f. Mist uh, Makeup Mist and Set and the e.l.f. Mineral Mist. I bought both of these um, in my haul video that I did um, a few weeks ago. And I've been really liking these. Um, I use primarily this one I used to spray on my face, no particular reason. Um, I didn't know if there's going to be any difference between these two, so I bought both of them. They're pretty much the same exact thing to me personally, um, except that I think they're the same price, and I think this one is, um, or this one is twice as much as. Uh, uh, this one, so this one is 60 milliliters and this one's 30, so you're paying the same price and this one's twice as much. So when I repurchase it, I am going to go with this one because obviously it's more uh, product for your, uh, for $3. And um, as far as the difference between these two, I don't really notice them. And to be completely honest, I don't know if it's just a placebo or what. I mean, it's probably not now that I've been using it for so long, but... Um, I like to use this right after I finished my foundation, blush, concealer, anything like that, and it really does help me, um, or what I, I really feel like it helps, um, kind of keep the makeup in place longer. I feel like it doesn't really, like, melt off as fast. Um, this one I've been using more of for if I apply products wet, like, um, some of the e.l.f. baked products I've been trying out, I like to use those wet, so I like to use this to wet them. So I've really been liking these two. Like I said, when I run out of these, I will rebuy this one just because it doesn't make sense to pay the same amount for half the product. So um, those are two products that I've been loving this month. So the next product I have been really liking this month, I wouldn't really call it um, like a holy grail product or anything like that, um, but it is this eyebrow um, pencil. And I actually got this from the dollar store because I'm cheap. And it is, I believe, by Physicians Formula and it is the brow definer. There were two different kinds that I got because I was trying out some stuff from there. And um, there's one that comes with the tweezers, and I do not like that one. It's too hard and too waxy. Um, but this one I've actually been liking. It is um, just called the Brow Definer, and this one I believe is like light blonde or whatever the lightest color is. Um, it also comes with like a little brush on the cap, and it's just one of those mechanical um, twist up ones. It is a little. Um, uh, a little too warm toned for me, um, but it's not too warm toned to where I think it looks bad. I'm wearing it today. I've just um, lightly kind of go over my eyebrows, just kind of give them a little more shape and kind of fill them in a little bit. So I've been using this one, and although the color's not completely perfect for me, I think that it's not super noticeable and it works. I don't know, it just gets the job done, and it's a dollar. So I've been liking this one. I think maybe if you have um, like a golden blonde hair or maybe if you even have like strawberry blonde kind of color hair, I think that this color will really work because it is a bit more of um, 
almost not orange but it has a more like an orange kind of um, color to it so I definitely have um, very ash toned hair if you can see my roots which I need to do um, the my hair is just really kind of like a an ashier kind of tone so ideally I would like one that's a little bit more um, you know cooler toned but for now this one's been great it's a dollar and I will use it up and one more thing that I like about this one that I forgot to mention is that um, it's not the creamiest um, pencil ever, which for me, I love because I can get really heavy handed and since this is not the exact color I need anyway, a really creamy um, pencil would be just bad news for me. So this one is a little stiffer. It's not so waxy to where it you have to like really apply a whole lot of pressure to get anything to come off. Um, it's just a great medium uh, kind of consistency for me. It's not too creamy. It's not too waxy. So, And the last three products I have are kind of boring, but um, something that's really helped me um, around, let's see, when was it? Uh, Memorial Day weekend, I think, yeah, Sunday. I got really, really badly sunburned. I didn't wear any sunscreen, so I knew I was going to get burned, so... Um, that's really stupid on my part um, but I was at a pool party and we were swimming like all day and I got so badly burned if I can find the picture I will put it in but I got so badly burned and I'm very fair I'm like of Irish heritage so <laughs> my burns some people say that they after they burn they tan I that's not me I my burns burn after I burn so for me being tan is like something I have to do very gradually I can't be in the Sun too long and I have to wear sunscreen stuff like that um, I've gotten like the tiniest bit of a tan from my burn but I mean I'm still pale as like a ghost but I got really badly burned and it was so painful it was the worst sunburn of my life and um, I just kind of like went to Walgreens and got like whatever I could find for sunburns there's one that I really really love that I um, had a few years ago whenever I got sunburned when I went to the beach on vacation and it's called ocean potion and I don't know if I ran out of it or if I used it all or what but I didn't have ocean potion anymore and I just went to Walgreens because I didn't really want to go to Walmart with a sunburned body trying to find um, some like sunburn relief stuff but ocean potion is really good if you can find that a few things from Walgreens that I believe helped a lot with my skin so the first one is the banana boat moisturizing aloe after sun lotion and it's just this giant bottle you can see how much I've used already this is a brand new bottle and I've used a lot of it and um, it is it has pure aloe vera vitamin E to preserve and extend your tan well I don't have a tan so whatever but I use this a lot I slathered it on in the very beginning um, because I just needed some sort of relief and one thing that I liked about this one was that it really did give me that relief quickly, but the thing was, since it's a lotion, you have to rub it on, and my skin was so tender. So this one I actually used a, um, a little bit more um, a couple days after my sunburn. So the one that I used right off the bat, just because it was the easiest to apply, and it gave me the most relief, and it is the Walgreens brand Liquid Spray Sunburn Relief. I've been using the Liquid Spray, which I highly recommend for like the first like couple days you have a sunburn, because you do not want to touch your skin at all. It was so painful the very first time when I put the lotion on, just rubbing it on hurt so bad. So with the Liquid Spray, it's literally you're not touching your body, it's just misting it, and I must say for the first like, second I put this on it felt like my sunburn was completely gone but after that first second obviously my sunburn um, pain kind of came back but overall it really did help with relieving some of the pain it cooled my skin a bit and after I um, had a few days to heal then I started using more of the banana boat lotion and then like with sunburns there's many stages that you progress through and I'm on the final stage now and that is peeling which I really really hate one thing it's kind of gross but the, the other thing is I kind of like peeling the skin which is really gross but um, now it's like all on the back of my arm where I can't reach um, so I've been using this lotion um, it 
I mean, really any lotion could work, but this is just what I bought. Um, it's another Walgreens brand, and it is the Moisturizing After Sun Lotion with Botanicals, and it's coconut scented. It's just a lotion, and I've been using this um, to put on my arms whenever, especially if I'm going out or something, if I'm running errands. And if I just put lotion on, it kind of like moisturizes it and kind of like hides all the flakes which is so gross but okay I've been using this one and it's been working pretty much any lotion would work but like I said this is just what I bought so those are the three products I have been using for my sunburns and I'm so glad that um, it's almost gone now I still have a little bit of redness and obviously peeling um, is a big problem with sunburns but I think it uh, it's a, it's been a week and a day since I've had my sunburn so um, I've got like a, the tiniest, tiniest bit of a, like a tan now from the sunburn, but like I said, my tan is like a pale day for other people, so that is pretty much it for my May favorites. I know I didn't have a whole lot of interesting products to show, but um, with with a sunburn and everything like that, I was just I don't want to I don't want to move. I don't want to put anything on my face, so I didn't wear makeup for like a week, and then like today is like the first day I put makeup on, but. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram. Link is below. And until my next video, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.